Hello, you're watching Kill Sexy Seven Gaming, and uh, I'd say it's been quite quiet on the game hunt and front. Yeah, but we still got a couple of little things. So I guess it's time to do uh, our monthly haul. So our backlog isn't getting any smaller, no. um, but it hasn't grown massively since our last haul. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a bit of both. Well, probably a good thing because as, as well as us having a big backlog, we're fast running out of space to put games, which is yeah. a problem. I guess everyone gets that problem from from time to time um but we did get a couple of things so it's obviously worth just having a, a little show and tell see what we've got here um because i think we've got some good stuff um first of all uh, i got a famicom game and not just a famicom game an absolutely brilliant famicom game this is dragon quest 3 um uh, one of the best jrpgs of jrpg series that there is out there Obviously now under the square umbrella, but this being a Famicom game, this is an Enix game. Uh, it's very primitive, obviously, when you when you see it, but the storytelling's there and all that. Only problem that we've got, obviously, what we have with all Famicom games is that it's all in kanji, and even with translation software on smartphones, sometimes not brilliant with the pixelated text. Yeah, because we can't really pick it up all the time, so... But it's worth the effort, so we've got that, and I'm sure that that will get some play. Next up for the Xbox One, this is Sonic Mania Plus. Now, if I remember correctly, this was kind of the back-to-form for Sonic, in a way, because this was after they'd done Sonic Forces and everything. You say back-to-form, I had, if I remember rightly, and I'm sure someone will correct me, this started as a fan game, yeah, I think but it because did. it was better than the official games that Sega themselves were putting out, Sega actually took it on and released it as an official Sonic game. Yeah, um, that's meant to be really good. I um, haven't actually put any time into it, but uh, with it being the Plus version, it does come a little art book with it as well. So, yeah. Sonic was always good fun when it was classic 2D on Mega Drive. Absolutely loved it. I have played a little bit of Sonic Mania. I think it did it go on PlayStation Plus or Xbox PlayStation Gold or something. something? I think it went on PlayStation now for a bit. I'm sure it went on something and I did play a little bit of it. And actually was pretty good. It was very like the, the old Mega Drive classics. Um, another Famicom game. This one, probably more for you actually because you like all this. This anime stuff, don't you? Um, this is Dragon Ball. See, I'm British. I was going to say Dragon Ball Z, but it's not Dragon Ball Z, is it? Dragon Ball Z Thread. Z Thread. Right, Dragon Ball Z Thread, um, which is uh, is a, a very crude early fighting game. Um, which I think all the Dragon Ball games are fighting games or they're not might be wrong uh, pretty much. um so this is one of the earliest ones obviously licensed anime from the licensed game from the anime i should say um was a massive hit in japan back in the day um and it's quite a nice cartridge it's slightly different it's one of the bandai not namco bandai this is pre-namco bandai it's one of the bandai cartridges um and they're just a slightly different and we've got like a little label on the top and that and I quite like them. Next up for the Xbox One, this is Code Vein. Now this was a game where it was built up to be a bit more like Dark Souls in its gameplay mechanics, but it has an anime art style. Now I have put a bit of time into it, um not a lot but not a little amount. And it's actually quite a good game. Um so pretty much you get allies in this one, unlike obviously Dark Souls and that, um, where it's solo, but it kind of makes it a bit um, easier in a way. So, But you can obviously play through it without them, um, 
And I think you can have up to either three or four allies in your party at once. So can you play less couch co op then? Um, I'm not sure. Potentially. Um, but oh, wait a minute. On the back it says single player. So oh, it says online co op. Yeah. Uh, oh, but then you need two, two versions. We've only got one, one disc. Yeah. All right. We can't well, do that then. <laughs> if it's any good we'll make it another one uh, I've got another Famicom game here um, this one though is not just a cart this is a complete box this is Moero Pro Yakia, which you can possibly not tell by the name but you will see by the pictures that this is a baseball game uh, you can see the screenshots on the back there, and it, as I said, that is complete in box. Boxes for the Famicom are very small, that's why I'm not actually that bothered about collecting them because the, their only purpose is, is to house the, the, cart, the cart, which this one's nice and red. Um, but we've also got like, the uh, the little manual in there, and it is a little manual because it has to fit in the very little box. Yeah. Next up for the Xbox One, this is Final Fantasy XV uh, Royal Edition, which um, just means that it comes up with extra weapons and that from previous games, such as Final Fantasy XIII and that. But um, yeah, um, Final Fantasy XV is one. It's it. I was saying chat does and that, but uh, I'm, it's I'm the massive we've got this, but it must be a digital thing. Yeah, it's been on. Yes, now I it. believe, oh, or right. something like that. Because uh, we don't have another copy. physical copy yeah. of it. But uh, from what I played of it, which wasn't a lot, but I did get through a little bit of it, it's actually quite a quite a decent game. It's different. Yeah, it, it's different from... And apparently there's one, one right, although I think it's been patched out now, the level 13 or something, where you just go through, a, a or you used to go through a corridor for like six hours. Yeah, I've, I've <laughs> definitely got that uh, fixed, but uh, yeah, it's obviously Final Fantasy, but uh, just an open world. Um, a nice licensed game here for fans of uh, handheld gaming, I guess. Uh, this is on the Nintendo DS, this is Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Obviously it's not going to play anything like the, uh, well... I say it's not, it might. I haven't actually played it yet. I, d I can't imagine it'll play anything like the yeah, PS3, three, three, Xbox two. 360 version, because obviously the limitations of the DS hardware. Um, but I saw it and I, I like the, the game, the console version of the game. Um, so when I get time to give this a, a good go, I guess I'll do that. Next up again for the Xbox One, this is Far Cry Primal, and as you can tell, this is the Collector's Edition. Now, this is one of the things where it opens up a bit weird, obviously, it opens with the opening of the teeth, and then you've got the steel book in there, you've got a map, which you've got there, and you've also got, I believe, if I, a little phrase book, for some reason, so... Not a bad little collector's edition. Oh, the steel book in there as well. Yep, and the steel book in there as well. Um, not a bad little collector's edition. And if I remember correctly, um, there's a few, only a few collector's editions that I've seen where the box opens a bit like that, where it's part of the design. So it might be a nice collector's edition, but. Do you remember the bit where I said we haven't got enough space for the games that we've got? Yeah. Kind of getting big boxes like that. Oh, well. um, this is a little box, uh, and this is the last game that we've got for this haul. Um, once I've played through um, Force Unleashed on the DS, I can obviously move on, on to Force Unleashed 2. Um, how good the first one is will determine whether I do move on to the second one or whether I just retain my nice memories of the game on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Uh, again, never played the handheld version of this. I'd be surprised if it's the same as the console version, um, but I love the console version, so it's worth the punt getting the, the DS version as well. But like I said, that was the last game that we've got for this haul, so that's it. Um, just a nice short one. I um, haven't taken up too much of anyone's day watching this video then. Um, we uh, are go 
want to go about writing aren't we? Yeah. Um, don't know if anyone else is going to, to, to write and write row. Um, but if you are, I might see you there. So we'll possibly, depending on what the, the, the vendors are like, we'll possibly get some stuff there. Um, but we'll see. Last time we went, it wasn't great for games. But it was great for actually playing them. Yeah, it was brilliant for playing them. That's why we're going. Um, so no doubt there'll be a video to follow about our little trip to writing. Um, but that's for the future. In the meantime, if you haven't already, give us a like, a share and a subscribe and turn the notification bell so you're going to find them when we upload and we will see you in the next video.